Hi guys, welcome back to the Art of Server. So in today's video, I'm gonna make a short tutorial showing you guys how to use the store CLI command to set up RAID with the Broadcom 9400 series, 9500 series, and 9600 series uh, RAID controllers. All right, so first of all, you have to have the store CLI uh, command line tools installed. If you don't have that, go ahead and find it on broadcom.com, download and install it on your computer. In my case, I have it already pre-installed and I'm on a Linux uh, computer. All right, so let me just kind of show you first of all how to use this tool. Um, you basically run it as, uh, well, in my case, it's a 64-bit version, so it's store uh, CLI 64 uh, forward slash C for a controller. Uh, and then you have to give it a number. Now, uh, that's the index number for the controller. Now, if you have more than one controller, it's going to be different numbers, but I only have one controller on this machine, so it's going to be zero. All right, so I can do uh, forward slash C zero, and I'll say show all. Right. And so that basically shows me all the information about that controller and the drives attached to it. And you can see that I have under PD list, which is the physical drives. I have four NVMe drives attached to this controller right now. All right. Let me show you how to get the help page for this tool so that uh, you can kind of get a, you know, better understanding of what the, all the various command options are, but you can do dash help. And this is going to show you all the different uh, options available. So there's a lot of options. There's obviously you can see it scrolled by really quickly and lots and lots of information here. That's probably not very helpful if everything just scrolls by. So you can also add the option page equals, uh, let's say, I think I have 35 lines here or something like that. And it's going to show you 35 lines at a time per page. And then you can hit the key to kind of scroll to the next page and so on. All right. So this is kind of how you get an idea for all the command options that are available to you. Okay, but in this video, we're specifically talking about how to set up RAID. So I want to show you how to do that. All right, so let me just break out of that. So earlier, I showed you guys on this controller, I have four NVMe drives, right? And so let's say that I want to set up each drive as a RAID 0, a single drive RAID 0 set. Okay, this is kind of a, uh, a common hack to use a RAID controller as kind of a J, uh, JBOT controller or an HBA controller. It's not exactly the same thing, but it can be kind of effectively the same thing. Even with the older Mega CLI tool for the older controllers, so the 9300 series and 23, um, the 2100 and 2200 series controllers from previous generations, uh, there was a tool called Mega CLI that is kind of the analog to this uh, version. With the store CLI is basically the more modern version. Um, there was an option to create each drive as a single drive RAID 0. And you still have that option in store CLI, but the commands are a little bit different. So, but this is how you do it, okay? So uh, again, store CLI slash C0 to reference the controller. And we're gonna do add VD, okay? And that stands for add virtual disk, okay? And you enter the keyword each R0 for RAID 0. And so this is basically going to find all the unconfigured good, um, drives which you can see here these are under under the state column uncon you good stands for unconfigured good which means that it's basically ready to be configured ready to be used and so when i run this command it's going to find all the unconfigured good drives and it's going to reconfigure them as a single drive raid zero so go ahead and do that it takes a few seconds all right so um says status success so it was able to successfully do that now let's go ahead and see what that looks like so i'm going to uh reference the drives by doing a slash c0 for the controller slash v for the virtual drive and i'm gonna um i could follow this by some virtual drive number i don't know what they are right now but um there's also a keyword that you can use to address everything, right? So all basically. So you can do V all, and that'll basically be everything. So let's do a show on that. And you'll see here's a list of all the virtual drives. And I have four virtual drives that are in RAID zero under the type. You can see they're all RAID zero. And they're basically, uh, it's basically converted each of those individual drives into a single drive RAID zero. Okay. So that's, how I have that right now. So that's how you do that. You'll notice here that 
under the very left column, it says DG VD, and it kind of explains to you under here what that means, but that's virtual drive. VD is for virtual drive, and you'll notice that there's this number, like 236, 237, 238, 239. And so if you want to address those or reference that specific drive by its virtual drive number, you can do that by finding out, first of all, what that number is. And so let's say I want to look up the details of that first one, which is 236. So instead of V all for everything, I can say 236, and that will be specifically uh, referencing that specific drive. And I'll do show all on that. And it shows me all this information. So it tells me about the virtual drive and you know the, the access level, the whether you know the, what kind of caching policy it has and that kind of stuff. It also tells me which physical drive uh, are, are part of that uh, virtual drive. In this case, it's just one, okay? And that's this drive right here. And, uh, and then some, some of the other properties like the stripes, uh, the strip size and number of blocks and all that other stuff is down here. And you can see that it is, uh, the OS drive name is dev SDD. All right, so actually if we do an LS SCSI, you'll see that I have four drives that are showing up as uh, Broadcom uh, Mega Ray 9560-16i. Okay, so that's just the, the controller that I have in this machine. And each of those drives is showing up uh, as dev, SDA, SDB, SDC, SDD. Okay, um, one thing to point out, when you are presenting these NVMe drives, remember these are NVMe drives connected to the Broadcom controller because it is a tri-mode controller. It can handle SAS, SATA, and NVMe drives. When you connect an NVMe drive and present it through the RAID controller like this, they're going to show up as normal block device drives in the operating system. And, um, and so, you know, for example, I'm trying to point out the difference here is that this Samsung drive here, which is the OS boot drive in this machine, is an NVMe drive. It's an M.2 drive on the motherboard. You'll notice that it shows up as slash dev slash NVMe 0N1. And even though these other four drives are also NVMe drives, because they're being presented through the RAID controller, they do not show up as uh, slash dev slash NVMe, you know, something. Instead, it's just kind of a regular block device uh, with the SDA, SDB kind of uh, naming scheme. All right, so that's one thing to keep in mind. And like I said, this is kind of why it's not exactly um, like an HBA uh, necessarily or like passing the uh, NVMe drives directly uh, over the PCI bus. There is kind of uh, a layer uh, between the native NVMe drive and what the operating system sees. Okay, so... Let's say that um, that's not what I wanted. I didn't want the single drive RAID zeros. Um, I want to actually say do a RAID zero on all four drives into one uh, virtual disk. Okay, so um, first thing I want to show you uh, in this next step is how, how to delete what we just configured so that we can reconfigure it as a uh, single virtual disk RAID zero with all four drives. Okay, so uh, one way to do that is... Uh, so like I showed you earlier, I can address each one of these virtual drives by its virtual number. So for example, I can do the 236, okay? And uh, I can do delete. And then that will delete that one drive. Okay, now if I do a show all again, you'll notice now I only have three left. And I could repeat that command for 237, 238, and 239, and that will eventually delete everything. But there's a shorter way to do that, and I want to show you that. And so, and that's basically do a um, slash V all, and that will basically reference all of them. So let's do a delete here. Okay, and now if I do a show, um, it says no VDs have been configured. Okay, so basically all the RAID virtual disks have been deleted, so they're all gone. All right, so let's um, let's take a look at all the drives again, but this time I'm gonna show you, so up until now I've been doing this slash C0 show all, 
and it kind of shows me a whole bunch of other stuff other you know besides the drive the list of drives that are connected and maybe this is not you know the most elegant way to find that information but it is kind of the simplest way so i kind of tend to do that but if you want to be more specific in how you address each of those drives you can do um now because these are NVMe drives showing up behind this virtual enclosure that's on emulated kind of on the controller, um, there is an enclosure ID. So look at, if you look at the PD list, you'll notice here each of these drives um, on the very on the very left over here. There's the EID colon SLT, and that means this is the enclosure ID, which is 252, and then there's a slot number, and so there's a four, there's a six, and an eight, and a ten. Okay, and that's how we can also address these drives directly. So you could, for example, do enclosure 252, okay, forward slash S for slot, and you can give it a number if you want to address a specific drive. But let's say I want to look at everything, right? So I'll do all, S all for everything, and I can do a show. And this will give me just the information about all the drives that are connected to the uh, E252 enclosure. Okay, so this is another way to kind of get the drive information without showing all the other stuff. Okay, so just wanted to show you guys how uh, the store CLI command works and that you can kind of address things um, via their enclosure ID or you can use the all or you can just, you know, not use anything and just show everything. So there's multiple ways to kind of reference the various uh, drives and stuff like that. And this is just another way to do that. Okay, so now it's important for me to know the uh, enclosure ID and slot number right now because I want to uh, create a RAID 0 using those four drives and so this is how I can do that okay so I have to reference the controller that I'm trying to configure right now add VD okay and uh, I believe I have to specify the RAID level so I think it's uh, R0 for RAID 0 and then device equals and then I have to give it um, the enclosure ID and slot number. So I think I can do 252 uh, colon 4, uh, 252 colon 6, 252 colon 8, 252 colon 10. So let's see if this works. Oops. Okay, that did not work the way I expected. Let me run the help and um, Let's look for that command. Oops. So add VD. All right. So it is raid. Let's see. Okay. I think I have to, maybe I didn't, uh, I, the, the keyword is drives and in plural instead of singular. Let me see what I typed in. Okay. I used the word devices. Sorry. That's wrong. So drives. All right, there you go. So now I have a RAID volume that is a RAID zero uh, with those four drives. Now let's take a look at that. Um, C zero, V, uh, I'm gonna do all cause I don't know what um, virtual disk ID it's been assigned. Show all, okay. And if I scroll up here, okay. So there's a virtual uh, disk 239, I guess is the one and it is in raid zero um cache policy and total size is all here and then it shows me that this is um for virtual disk 239 these are the physical drives and so these are the four physical drives and you can notice that right now they are online state earlier they were you good which means unconfigured good which means that they're basically ready to be used but they're not you know configured for anything all right, so and then some properties about that virtual drive, um, the strip size and, and various other information. And it's, and it's presented as dev SDA. So actually, if I run LS SCSI, I should see dev SDA. And that would be the RAID 0 volume of all four NVMe drives. Okay, so now again, if I want to delete that, I can do C0. Um, v239 delete and then that raid volume will be gone all right so now let's say instead of the raid zero i want to do a raid five okay so it's basically the same command let me pull that up again and instead of r0 for raid zero i do r5 and that will give me a raid five volume set 
Okay, so let me try that out. Okay, success. And now if I do a, a V all, oops, V all show. All right, so now I have a RAID 5 setup. And if I do a show all, it should probably give me a little bit more information here. All right, so show all tells me that it's a RAID 5, but it also gives me a list of all the physical drives that are part of that RAID 5 and uh, the strip size and various other information. And again, that's showing up as dev SDA. All right, so again, if I do LSCSI, I'm going to see a drive uh, presented as the controller, so the Broadcom Mega RAID 9560-69, and that is going to be my RAID 5 set using those four uh, NVMe drives. Okay, so let me go ahead and delete that again. Uh, that was drive 238, so C0, virtual drive 238, delete. And now it's gone. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're into this sort of stuff, consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss my videos. Also, if you want to support my channel, go check out my eBay store. I'll leave a link down in the video description. I have the greatest selection of pre-flashed IT mode HPA SAS controllers for your ZFS, TrueNAS, or Unraid builds. So go check out the link down in the video description. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.